today we will see how to evaluate the integral from 0 to pi over 2 1 over 1 plus tan 6th power x dx because I think some of you had commented that the theorem that I discussed in my last video doesn't have that many applications but here is one other nice application this power of tan function 6 used here could be technically any power I'm going to use the same theorem that was used during my last video however I'm going to do a minor adjustment before using that theorem all right so the modification I'm planning to do is I'm going to label this integral as i now this integral is given in terms of tan I'm going to write it using sine and cosine terms therefore this integral i can be written as integral from 0 to pi over 2 1 over 1 plus we know tangent theta is equal to sine theta over cosine theta therefore this can be written as sine sixth power x over cosine sixth power x dx what i'm going to do next is i'm going to multiply both top and bottom by cosine sixth power x now this integral i becomes equal to integration from 0 to pi over 2 on the numerator i have cosine 6 power x in the denominator i will have cosine 6 power x plus sine 6 power x dx all right now i'm going to label this integration as integral number one now i'm going to use the theorem that i discussed in my last video what was the theorem whenever you have this lower limit being equal to zero we can apply the property that zero to a f of x dx is also equal to integral zero to a f a minus x dx i'm not going to prove this theorem in this video because i already discussed the proof in my last video all right now instead of a in this integral i have pi over 2 and i'm going to use this theorem with a equals pi over 2 and rewrite the integration so my integral i will now be equal to integration 0 to pi over 2 cosine sixth power x will be replaced by pi over 2 minus x in the bottom once again i have cosine sixth power x will be replaced by pi over 2 minus x plus sine sixth power x will be replaced by pi over 2 minus x and we have dx all right now we can simplify this little bit more i will be equal to integral from 0 to pi over 2 on the numerator what is cosine pi over 2 minus x that's equal to sine x therefore the numerator now becomes sine sixth power x in the denominator the first term i have is cosine sixth power pi over 2 minus x which will also be equal to sine sixth power x that plus and there is another term sine sixth power pi over 2 minus x so what is sine pi over 2 minus x that's equal to cosine x therefore sine sixth power pi over 2 minus x can be written as cosine sixth power x and dx now i'm going to label this integral as integration number two what i'm going to do next is i'm going to add integration number one and integration number two if i add those two integrals on the left hand side i will have two i on the right hand side you can see that we have the same denominator therefore i can go ahead and add the numerators straight across the numerators will be added to cosine 6th x plus sine 6th x since we have the same denominator cosine 6th x plus sine 6th x when you add these two integrals 2i will be just equal to integration 1 dx all right therefore we have 2i being equal to integration from 0 to pi over 2 1 dx 
Now this will be simplified to 2i equals integration of 1 is equal to x and the limits 0 and pi over 2. So we have to replace those limits. Now I have 2i being equal to pi over 2 and divided by 2 I get i equals pi over 4. If you would like to try another question using that same theorem, similar to this one, I can give you a question. So here is the question. You can integrate from 0 to pi over 2, 1 over, this time I will write 1 plus 10 nth power x dx. Try this one using that theorem. You will get a nice answer. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this video.